Hey there, Columbus, it's Mike Kilburn here, ready to dive into another exciting weekend. And I'm Renee Joseph. This week, we're hitting the road to West Central Ohio. Yeah, from the quirky charm of Yellow Springs to the vibrant streets of Dayton, we've got a jam-packed itinerary. So buckle up, folks. Shopping, dining, and unique attractions await you. Let's discover what makes this region so special. And we are also celebrating Independence Day of Brazil with a couple unique places here in Columbus. Don't miss it. Out and About Columbus starts now. Immerse yourself in the exquisite world of Joy Wine. We'll take you on a delightful journey to downtown Dayton through their curated wine selections, tantalizing small plates, and vibrant events. Discover your next wine obsession and experience unforgettable hospitality. We're first and foremost a retail wine shop, so you can pop in, grab a bottle of wine to take with you to your next dinner or as a gift. We have beer and cocktails and lots of non-alcoholic options as well. I am a Dayton native. I was born and raised here. I uh, went to Northmont, went to Ohio State, and then for many years I moved away and lived in California and Los Angeles and San Francisco, Vegas, and Mexico for a little bit. I came back to Dayton because my heart is here. I love the, the growth that Dayton has seen recently, and I think that investing in downtown Dayton makes a lot of sense. We're a, a growing city, and we have fine taste. I think that um, more bars, restaurants, more things to do in the downtown space is a, a win-win for everybody. I helped to open Sueno and Tender Mercy, which is just a few blocks uh, east of here, and the design team uh, from the Idea Collective, David and Ginger, that built out that space and designed that space also helped with the design work here. They're extremely talented and I'm so honored to be able to work with them to create this really nice, fun, whimsical space. In my opinion, a lot of wine bars and wine-centric restaurants kind of have a, an air of masculinity. It's, it's dark and there's dark woods and um, it's not always the most inviting space. So when working with David and Ginger, we decided we wanted a very fun, bright, whimsical, slightly psychedelic space. It's, it's very fun and inviting. The best way is to follow us on Instagram. Again, our handle is Joy Wine. And our next best way is definitely gonna be on our website. You can subscribe to our newsletters. Mostly we just inform people of upcoming events and um, our wine club that we host. Indulge your senses as we explore Smith's Boathouse Restaurant in Troy, Ohio. This family-owned gem offers waterfront dining, mouth-watering steaks, fresh seafood, all crafted from scratch. This building was built in 1946. It was a real boathouse for the Hobart brothers. And then they donated the building and the grounds to the city of Troy. As far as Smith's Boathouse Restaurant, the city approached me. I have other businesses in Troy. I've been around here for 40 some years. My wife and I started this November 1st of 2016. Had a lot of dedicated, faithful guests and just have improved it all along. And then my daughter, Laura, has taken over about two years ago and she's even made it better. Our restaurant is very unique because of the location, first of all. You can see our beautiful courthouse here in Troy, Ohio. Beautiful views of the Miami River. And secondly, um, we are family owned and operated. We are also unique because of the space that we have here. So we are perfectly set up for uh, rehearsal dinners and events, uh, family gatherings, corporate functions. We make our dishes from scratch. All of our salad dressings are made in-house. Try to get the freshest seafood, the highest quality steaks, certified Angus beef steaks only, Great Lakes walleye that we get in fresh and it's absolutely delicious. We have um, local farms that we actually get our some of our produce from when we're working on our seasonal salads. I would say our top most unique dishes, one of them being our Maryland crab cakes. We have a roasted chicken dish right now that is skin on, it's local Ohio chickens. Our guests can actually get a table side Caesar, meaning the dressing is made right at their table. And it's a great way for us to get to know our customers. It's interactive. Whenever there's young guests that arrive with us, we actually let them help us. We are available at smithsboathouse.com or feel free to give us a call at 937-335-3837. Explore the enchanting world of Julia Etta's trunk. 
Nestled in Yellow Springs, this designer clothing boutique is a treasure trove of unique styles from everyday chic to semi-formal elegance. My late mother-in-law, Jelaine Cheney, started the business 27 years ago. She grew the business to this small batch designer, unique artistic style and moved into her own brick and mortar. And here we are today. Ladies can find a multitude of things, multitude of different designers. We primarily focus on things that are artistic, breathable, cottons, linens, things that you can wear for every day, all the way up to things for like after dark events. I also want to offer things that are from, primarily from the US so that there's, you know, a lower emissions cost, easier to get and support local US designers. I've recently started with a new designer called Vicolino. They also offer high quality cottons and linens and they have a unique style, but also stuff that's a little bit more traditional for the traditional woman. I also have lots of accessories, so earrings like the ones I'm wearing now, they're cloudy skies, made with um, wallpaper, other types of jewelry, perfumes. We get new styles in about every four to eight weeks. We actually have events that we hold, sales. We, we also follow along with the community events. In October, we have our trunk show with our designer, Cynthia Ashby. I'm blessed to have two wonderful women who work with me, one of whom worked with my mother-in-law. Her name is Cecily and she's actually wearing an Alambica outfit. And then I have Kat. Kat is recently working with us and she's wearing the beautiful outfit from Vicolino. You can reach us at juliettas.com. The phone number is 937-767-2823 and you can find us in downtown Yellow Springs. After the break, dive into the enchanting world of miniature gardening. Discover whimsical garden themes, hands-on workshops, and the magic of crafting delightful tiny landscapes. That coming up a little later. Introducing the grand reopening of a beloved classic. After 77 years in the making, Michael's Goody Boy is back better than ever. Craving comfort food that hits all the right spots? Look no further than Michael's Goody Boy. Say hello to our signature dishes crafted with love and flavor, guaranteed to make your taste buds dance with joy. So hustle on over to Michael's Goody Boy and tantalize your taste buds because at Michael's, every bite is pure goodness. You won't want to miss out on this tasty reunion. Michael's Goody Boy, satisfying cravings one delicious bite at a time. Get ready to uncover Sydney, Ohio, a hidden gem just off I-75. In this segment, we'll dive into the charming outdoor adventures, delightful local dining, and attractions that make this destination perfect for your next escape. Downtown Sydney is the ideal location for dining, for shopping, and for entertainment. When you come to downtown Sydney, you'll find a nice variety of restaurants, perfect for every occasion. You'll find the Bridge Restaurant, the New Rainbow Bar and Grill, Murphy's Craft Bar and Kitchen, Greenhouse Coffee, Emilio's Pizzeria, and the world famous Spot Restaurant. Well, Sydney offers many attractions and points of interest for people looking for either a single day or a multi-day getaway. So for outdoor enthusiasts, probably the crown jewel in Sydney, Ohio is Tawawa Civic Park. And within Tawawa Park, you'll find miles of paved and unpaved trails that are great for hiking and bicycling. There are biking and birding adventures in Tawawa Park, lots and lots to do. So for outdoors people, it's terrific. I think another reason to come to downtown Sydney is for our unique architecture. Downtown Sydney is home to the Lewis Sullivan Jewel Box Bank and also the Monumental Building. No visit to Sydney would be complete without a stop at the Wallace Family Learning and Innovation Center. Uh, at the center, guests are treated to six themed galleries that basically track the emergence of Sydney and Shelby County, Ohio as a primitive wilderness 200 years ago to the innovative, vibrant, and evolving community it is today. Just outside the city limits, but nearby to Sydney, is the Airstream Manufacturing Facility. Here, guests can take a tour of the motor coach plant. I would encourage you to go to visitsydneyshelby.com, or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram. Embark on a culinary adventure at Wee Penny Oven and Bar. This isn't your average pizza joint. Discover the art of homemade breads, 
fresh mozzarella, and delectable desserts, all while sipping on Dayton's finest cocktails and enjoying a warm, inviting atmosphere. We Penny Way is the fact that we're committed to the integrity of food and the people that prepare it. We use local ingredients as much as possible. We make as much as we can in-house. We do our own baking, our own desserts. We make our own pasta, our own mozzarella. Trust does not exist in the presence of a pizza. Pat Bruno was the Chicago Sun-Times food critic. You communicate with your friends and family, you share a meal, and it's just a way to remind all of us that life is good. Wheat Penny Oven and Bar is special, not only because of the great food that we prepare, but more importantly, the people that work here. We have an incredible staff. We have been open 11 years now. We have people that have been here from the beginning. Really, the best thing about Wheat Penny is the community that we make between the staff and our customers. It's a blue collar town, but it has an appreciation for fine food and incredible cocktails and wine. There's a lot of independent restaurants, many owned by women. We're more than just pizza, though. We make our own pastas, steak, seafood. It's an incredible place, so I'd say come on down. Come to Dayton, see this incredible scene that's here. The best way, if you want to use the phone, is 937-496-5268. But our website has a ton of information on it, www.wheatpennydayton.com. Dive into the enchanting world of miniature gardening at Little Fairy Garden in Yellow Springs. Discover whimsical garden themes, hands-on workshops, and the magic of crafting delightful tiny landscapes. A fairy garden is a miniature garden that has become quite popular. You can build in your yard in a flower bed, in a little terrarium and put it in your home, or a container, a hanging basket, little miniature live plants that don't get taller than about 12 to 14 inches tall and little characters like fairies and dragons, gnomes, uh, pixies, mermaids, bridges and pathways and mailboxes for them. It's a crafting project that anyone can do. The store specializes in miniature gardening. We have fairy homes, glow-in-the-dark dragonflies. We have started to design some of our own unique items such as like a little hobbit house that we have with a little open and closing blue door. But we we also carry unique regular size house plants, large fairy statues, mermaids, fairy books, fairy costumes. You have also a workshop room off to the side of the store where we build a two-story high fairy tree in it and you can sit down, make miniature gardens whenever we're open. Or you can schedule a group to come in, uh, grandma's birthday, kids parties, adult parties, and make miniature gardens. We only charge for whatever you bring to the register. You pick your pot or container that you want to use. We help you with what kind of lighting you have in your home or wherever you want to put it. And then you can put in your potting soil, your plants, your sand, shells, moss, different colored mosses, seashells, rocks, sea glass, and then you put in your little characters. You can search the internet for a little fairy garden in Yellow Springs, Ohio. And our phone number is 714-785-5876. Or you could just drop in when we're open 12 to 6 every day. Coming up, a quality dining experience located in the heart of Shelby County. It sure is. This owner has 32 years of restaurant experience and dreamed of owning his own since age seven. That's coming up straight ahead. Need to get away from it all? Spend a night surrounded by luxury and serenity with Cabins by the Caves in the beautiful Hocking Hills. Whether a besties weekend or romantic getaway, Cabins by the Caves has packages perfect for every occasion. From massages to in-room chefs and so much more, they'll arrange it. You just show up to the cabin and relax. So for more information about the cabins or to book your stay, call 877-322-2283 or go to cabinsbythecaves.com. Explore the vibrant heart of Beaver Creek in our upcoming segment. We'll take you on a tour of Greentown Center, a bustling hub of shopping, dining, and entertainment. At the Green, we have a, a lot of great retail. New stores that are under construction right now is Our House, which is a furniture store. Anthropology, which is a retailer that everybody's going to recognize. We have Pure Prom Couture, which is a prom and mother of the bride shop that will open the in the first quarter of next year. The, the retail component, we have you know, 140,000 square feet of, of restaurants. We have the retail that we talked about earlier. So we have a place you can shop everywhere. But in addition to that, we have 140. 43,000 square feet of office space on the property, and we have 206 residential units on the property for luxury living. For 2024, we still have three more concerts that we do this year. Uh, 
We have one this weekend. We had 13 concert events this year. We plan on having more than that next year. We do trick or treat on October 20th here at the Green. We like to have the fire department and the police department participate in that and they they like to give out the candy so they get to be the good guys. We always are changing and improving. We'll have other events during the year. It, some events don't work right away for us and, and, and we always try to change and upgrade and do things differently. You can learn by calling our information number which is 937-490-4911 or you can go to our website thegreen.com. Next, uncover the hidden gems of Tip City. We'll explore how the Tip City Chamber of Commerce fuels local businesses with invaluable resources and support. Discover the vibrant community spirit and economic growth initiatives that make this city a thriving hub for entrepreneurs. Tip City, originally known as Tippecanoe, um, was founded in 1840 along the Miami and Erie Canal. And it does a beautiful job combining both historic charm with modern growth. Chamber of Commerce was established in 1945, and we have been a key player from promoting our small businesses to attract those key investments. We have been a key integral part to the Tip City's economy and the growth here. We work very closely with our city leaders and our community members. We have a lot of fun annual events. One of them is our Tip City Mum Festival held every September um, and it showcases um, our love for the mum here with uh, a parade. We have uh, craft vendors at the park. The chamber is obviously supportive of so many of our annual events um, with our different organizations, but we also have some of our own events um, that we hold near to our heart, including our annual chamber Chamber Holiday Gala, our Business Classic Golf Outing, and then our Taste a Tip and Business Expo. Our local parks and our historic downtown are definitely gems in Tip City. Two of our favorites are Kyle Park and City Park. Then our historic downtown is definitely a favorite. Unique stores, restaurants, um, and lots of other businesses that the Chamber supports. So um, we have something for everyone here at Tip City. You can check out our website, tipcitychamber.org. See all the local businesses that we are supporting here, as well as our community community calendar. Check out our Instagram or our Facebook. Those are probably our two uh, most popular social media platforms that we are updating um, very frequently on what's all happening in Tip City. Get ready to indulge your senses. In the next segment, we'll take you inside the bridge, a culinary gym in Sydney. Discover how this landmark restaurant elevates dining with premium ingredients and exceptional service, all while creating a relaxed atmosphere perfect for any occasion. We're here for the guest. We're here to make all those people that come through our door feel welcome. I think we provide probably the most warm, inviting atmosphere around. We're very proud of our bridge and our heritage here in Sydney. And um, I think people like to come into the bridge. They, they walk in and the new remodel shows the bridge. It looks just like that down there. So it's pretty sweet. One of our most popular dishes has been on the menu since the beginning of uh, the bridge, which was uh, 14 years ago. It was an encrusted pecan chicken. It uh, has pecan breading. It's uh, served with a sweet potato souffle that's almost like a dessert, and it's topped with a little bit of brown sugar and pecans in that topping. We're known for our steaks. We do have the uh, best quality of steaks that you can get on the market. Um, we, do, uh, we do about nine different cuts of steak. Um, all steaks except the bone-in steaks are cut in-house, so everything's hand-cut here. But one of our other uh, spectacular things that people come here for, just to come here for, is our shrimp cocktail. Our bar is the largest bar in all of Shelby County. We have over 120 bourbons. My vision when I wanted to do this patio was to make it like a fine dining outdoor, a covered area where people could almost feel like they were inside the restaurant, but yet outside. It's very inviting and it's very warm. People love to sit out here. If you're heading out to the bridge in Sydney, um, we are located at 127 West Poplar Street in downtown Sydney. The website is going to be uh, thecitybridge.com and you can find our current menus all the time on Facebook and Instagram. Coming up, we're celebrating Independence Day in Brazil. We visit a Brazilian grill and bakery and learn how they contribute to promoting Brazilian culture here in Central Ohio. Stay with us. Our strongest memories are family and food. Those memories will flood back when you try CJ's Soul Food in Polaris. 
with soul classics like ribs and greens to pork chops with savory mac and cheese, CJ's has it all. CJ's Soul Food, your soul food destination with signature cocktails and entertainment has birthed the new age of soul here in Columbus. Located in Polaris, book your table now at cjsoulfood.com. Embark on a culinary adventure at Salar, where upscale meets casual in a stunning setting with two inviting outdoor patios, a vibrant lounge, and a breathtaking view of the historic Oregon District. This screen certified gem promises an unforgettable dining experience. Salar Restaurant and Lounge is a Peruvian restaurant that has been open in the Oregon District here in Dayton for 11 years now. We specialize in Peruvian cuisine. Our chef and owner, she is from Lima. There's a really strong sense of community here um, and Chef Margot just wanted to be a part of that. So she opened Salar here here in the heart of downtown. When you come to Salar, you can expect a lot of meat, a lot of seafood. You can also find a lot of European influences in our menu. Our most famous, most popular dish is our Lomo Saltado. It's, you know, the flagship dish of Peru. Our beef empanadas are also something that are really, really popular. We actually sell them in local markets here in Dayton as well. We have salmon on the menu, sea bass on the menu. Then we have, you know, a 14 ounce pork chop. So there really is something for everyone. You know, if you're just looking for meat and potatoes, we've got it. If you're looking for something a little more adventurous, like scallops or octopus or something like that, we have it. We do have a really big selection of, you know, cocktails for everyone, whether you're looking for something fruity and fun, or if you're looking for something that is spirit forward, you know, our bourbon drinkers, our scotch drinkers. I think that's something that Chef Margot and all of us here at Solar really strive for is to make sure that everyone can find something something that they enjoy. We also really have worked to um, expand our non-alcoholic selections. So we offer five different non-alcoholic cocktails. We offer some NA beers, some NA wines. Drinking is not something everyone wants to do. So we want to make sure that everyone feels comfortable and safe at Solar as well. If you want to learn more about Solar, you can just visit us at uh, solarrestaurant.com. You can get in touch with our event coordinator if you're looking to celebrate a birthday or a wedding. We, we do it all. Check out the vibrant world of Yellow Springs Brewing in our upcoming segment. We'll explore this unique community hub, showcasing their innovative craft beers and the inviting atmosphere of their tap room, plus discover how it's perfectly nestled next to the breathtaking Little Miami Scenic Trail. Uh, Yellow Springs Brewery opened in 2013, started by a couple, Nate Cornette and Lisa Walters. So they went ahead and pulled the trigger. They found the spot that we're currently in right now. Um, so our tap room and production opened here uh, April 13th, 2013. Um, it immediately was huge. Yellow Springs is a bit of a tourist spot, so people just wanted to check out what making beer locally was like. It was really cool to see. We try to keep a diverse lineup of beers on tap uh, at all times. We have Boat Show, which is our number one seller. It's an IPA. It's really well known throughout the Dayton area uh, and the Columbus area. We didn't have an IPA when we started out in cans. So when we released that beer in cans with our other uh, core beers at the time, it really took off on us. So uh, that's our biggest brand. And we also have a Raspberry Springer, which is a raspberry fruited version of the Springer Golden Ale. Um, that's a really popular beer for people who aren't so into beer flavored beer and want something a little more fruity and refreshing. Our owner, Lisa, uh, she was a potter and an artist. So when they developed what they were going to do with the taproom walls as far as, you know, kind of decorating the place, they came up with having local artists do art shows on the walls that were available in the taproom month to month. So our patio outdoor space is actually larger than our indoor space at this taproom, which is kind of cool. Uh, the best thing about the patio or the most notable thing is that it is right on the Miami Trail bike path. So people riding their bikes in and out of Yellow Springs, especially from Springfield or heading to and from Xenia, will go right past our patio. So there's a deck uh, that's raised up above the ground, and then there's what we call a beer garden, which is a concrete pad a little bit lower. The best place to find more information about us is on our website, yellowspringsbrewery.com. In celebration of Brazilian Independence Day, we stop by Capoeira Brazil Columbus. Learn a mesmerizing blend of dance, martial arts, and acrobatics. Discover its rich history, cultural evolution, and the artistry behind this unique Brazilian tradition.
During the slavery time in Brazil, the slaves, they, they created this beautiful martial art called capoeira. Everyone thought it was a dance, too dangerous to be a dance. They create this, this beautiful art to protect themselves. For many, many years, capoeira was illegal in Brazil, but today it's a beautiful martial art. It's across the entire globe. The benefits of learning capoeira Overall, it's a martial art. It's a full body workout, promotes diversity, promotes community, mental health. Also, you're going to learn a different culture. Capoeira is a tool in life. If you focus more on the art, it can help enhance your art. If you focus more on the martial, it can help be a supplemental to your martial and combat system. For children, it gives a great activity for growth and development. We do music, we sing, we put them out, out front so they get to be involved with the public and community a lot more keeps you more active, your health, your mental health. We work with Columbus Parks and Recs. We're currently at Schiller Rec Center and Linden Rec Center. We begin with our youth format classes. We start from ages six and up, and then for our adults and teenagers, make sure it's open for everybody, depending on your fitness status, depending on your martial arts experience. If you have never done it before, come and try it out. You're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna love it, and you won't be disappointed. You can contact us at capoeiracolumbus.com. Continuing our Independence Day celebration in Brazil, we took a tantalizing journey through a Brazilian grill and bakery. Think freshly baked treats, authentic acai bowls, and top quality meats. While we are an authentic uh, Brazilian restaurant, we try to keep things as close to, to home, to what Brazil is for us. For, for Brazilian people, this is a, a truly a, an experience to go back home in a, in a way. And for folks here in the States, you, you get to go to Brazil without having to leave Columbus. We have 3,000 different products um, from Brazil, so uh, we try to keep everything very authentic. Uh, you know, all of the variety that we, we can uh, provide here. So let's turn our attention to the restaurant for a minute. What's some of the favorite dishes here that people enjoy and why does it resonate with them? I would say uh, Brazilians are really good at barbecue. So picanha is what you, what people, what folks come in for. So uh, picanha definitely. And I think it's just like those uh, homemade stuff, stuff that, you know, we grew up having. And uh, it's really nice to be able to just uh, make these things uh, for people here in the States. That's cool. Brazilians are very inventive. We're, you know, lively, uh, passionate people, um, you know, really hardworking people. And this is, we try to be part of, we are a community. Uh, being the only uh, Brazilian restaurant, uh, the, the, the fact of restaurant uh, store uh, in the city, you know, it, it kind of is like a lighthouse that people just come to. Yep. So it's something, you know, uh, for happy hours or, you know, just to, to make a friend or just to feel what, belonging, I guess. Uh, you know, people missing home. This is the spot to be. Give us some contact information where we can find you and a website or something like that for more information. Uh, uh, BrazilianGrillingBakery.com. Uh, uh, our handle on Instagram is probably a cool way to to, uh, get, uh, to reach us as well. We're at 5818 Columbus Square, just uh, off of uh, 161 in Cleveland. We hope you enjoyed today's show and are inspired to take a quick trip over to West Central Ohio. If you missed any part of the episode or want to catch up on your favorite segments, you can find everything online at onacolumbus.com or be sure to set your DVR and record it. And while you're there, be sure to check out our news section for the latest articles and delicious recipes. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more fun content and updates. Renee, what can viewers look forward to next week? Well, next week, as we turn to fall, it's time for fall festivals and fun events. We have some exciting features lined up that promise to be a great time. You won't want to miss it. Sounds fantastic, Renee. We can't wait to share it with everyone. Absolutely. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next time on Out About Columbus. Close captioning brought to you by Explore Hocking Hills. The heat of summer is upon us, and it's a wonderful time to visit the Hocking Hills. For more information, go to explorehockinghills.com.